Greetings, everyone. This is Miss Lonnie Renee. Welcome to my channel. Um, I have noticed in recent years, I noticed the numbers of events that's regarding employ employees who have disgruntled issues with their bosses. And as a result, they are let go. Now, they may try to get their job back, but some employers don't want them back. And as a result, the employee uh, decides to get revenge or do a violent act. Is that worth it? No, it's not. Now, in this article that I read regarding the Little Caesar employee who shoots her manager after she was not considered for rehiring. Um, I guess they have some type of disagreement. But anyway, basically what I'm saying in essence overall, is it really worth that? No, it's not worth that though. You know, when I was coming up with people was getting let go of their child, they usually move on. They find something, they find something else though. Um, in this case, this young lady, uh, she had a clean background. She had a clean back background, and according to the article that I read, she had a valid defense and a clean background, meaning that she could have just went on and left with a clean, clean, excuse me, clean slate. Um, another reason why I want to say, you know when you are let go or not be considered a rehiring. Sometimes it can be a blessing, even though it could be your fault or the negligence of someone else. Now, I can give you an example of my brother. May he rest in peace. You know, my brother passed away in 2015 uh, in his truck. He was a truck driver and he didn't make it through his destination. The company that he worked for had put a tracking system on him and he never made it, like I said. So they found him dead uh, in the truck. But anyway, just to give you brief about my brother. But I remember when my brother was young, um, late teens or early 20s, he was working at a, at a fast food restaurant and he was let go. I don't know why he was let go, but he was let go. So he came home, um, he cried on my mother's shoulder and my mother told him, hey, you know, when one door closed, another one opened. You know what? He found another job. Fast forward, as he got older, when he was in his late 20s, he worked at this other job uh, as a cleaning person. And guess what his dumb butt did? <laughs> he got caught doing graffiti on the wall. Yes, through the camera. So when management confronted him about it and let him go, um, I heard he fell out because he lost his job. <laughs> oh, dummy. But anyway, one day I was walking down the street and I saw my brother in a security uniform. And I was surprised he got another job. I said, I, said, I heard what you did. I said, he's going to appreciate this job. He said, yep. He said, he's going to appreciate this job. Now, as special as my brother was, basically what I'm saying, if, if this guy can do stupid stuff on the job, get fired and let go, what's wrong with society? With society excuse me. You know, he moved on. He was hurt, but he moved on. But eventually he got another job. In fact, when he passed away, I remember at his uh, memorial service, I told his friend, I said, you know, he will lose jobs and get a job just like that. And he preached that uh, to one of my cousins because my cousin had told me what he said. He said, your brother told me I can get a job. Yes, you can. So why resort to violence? My brother didn't resort to violence, even though he made some dumb mistakes, but he had common sense to move on. And also, um, sometimes, you know, even though the way I'm saying it is not good, 
but sometimes people have lost their job as a result of a lie. But basically what I'm saying is sometimes that that way could, could lead to open up doors to a better job, you know, unfortunately. I mean, unfortunately, as a result, what somebody had done to somebody else. And also, um, it also could be also a blessing in disguise as to reconsider your goals or going back to school or doing something else though. You know, nobody don't like to lose a job, especially after being rejected, um, after consider of not being rehired. Yes, it does hurt. I never been there, but I'm just going by what I'm accustomed to seeing coming up when people that have lost the job, they move on and they do all right. Resorting to violence is is never the answer. Now, overall, when this young lady lost her job, she had a clean slate. She had a chance to move on, to go somewhere, possibly even better. Who knows? It could have been a blessing, especially not having a criminal background. Now you have a criminal background, though. So I hope this video could be a blessing to somebody. If you lost your job, hey, put in those resume. Like an old friend of mine told me, she said, when you make out your resume, be a tornado. Don't just put in one. Be a tornado. Put them out many as you can. One will call you. I know I've been through that. You know, where I didn't have a job, put out Minnie's resume, and that one resume was show. So, I hope this message be a blessing to someone. Like this video, share it, subscribe to it, and I'll see you in the next video. And remember, be good to yourself. God bless.